hello youtube welcome to my channel secret point my name is milam and in this video session i will do one program and uh, i will debug that program actually so that you can able to identify how the program is flowing internally so before execution of that program you should know what is debugging okay so debugging is nothing but one of the best features which is provided by the netbeans id what i am using today so by using this netbeans id you can able to debug your program so basically debugging is nothing but uh, identifying the programming programs flow or else uh, identifying the bug present in your program okay so those who are doing practice programs uh, start using this netbeans id which is providing this wonderful features debugging okay so let's see what happened to this program by debugging this program what is happening we should know so before debugging this program i should execute this and uh, i will show you the output what we are getting and after that i will show you how to debug your code okay so basically you need to see the program here that i have written already written here i am taken the package name is debug and uh, my i am importing one class that is kernel class which is under util package of java and uh, the class name what i was taken is demo on debugging and uh, just below of it i was taken one method with the name loop range uh, which is returning one value of integer type okay and uh, inside this loop range method what i was did is i was creating one object of scanner class okay by the reference variable sc i was taken here and uh, i am declaring one variable of integer type with the name range and below to it i am just printing one statement enter the range for loop this message will be printed on the console and user has to give the input as range okay one integer value user has to give in this method in this line we are calling the next integer method of scanner class by the reference variable scanner okay that is sc by the reference variable sc we are calling that next int method of scanner class and finally as this method is returning one object of integer type so we are returning that integer variable okay integer value here and uh, just below of it i was written another method that is a public static void loop result loop result is my method name and uh, it is accepting one integer value as parameter and inside that loop result method what i was doing is i i was just taken one for loop and uh, i was initialized one variable with the name i with the value 1 and uh, i am checking whether i value is less than the number provided by parameter or not if i value is less than the num less than or equal to the number provided by parameter then i am just printing the number i okay i am just printing the value of i and uh, I again I plus plus means uh, this loop will be continued until this condition will become fail. So what I was done in the main method is I was written one I was declared one integer value of num type sorry no integer type that is the variable name is num and I'm calling this loop range method. As you know that loop range method in the above line is returning one value of integer type. Okay you can see here that it, this loop range method is returning one integer type value so this value i am storing inside this num variable and uh, i am passing this num variable as parameter to this loop result method okay as you know that loop result method is accepting one parameter that is of integer type so i am passing this number integer type variable as parameter to this loop result method okay so now let's execute this program and uh, see what output we are getting so for execution of this program just uh, right click on it okay oh, wait for some time it is got stuck i think okay now right click on your program and uh, see here one button one menu is there that is run file okay click on that run file option now your program will get executed and you can able to see the output okay wait for some time it will take some time to get execute as you can see here in the console it is uh, printed one message with the name that is enter the range for loop okay suppose i am giving the range is 10 and clicking on next button or sorry enter button then you can see here that uh, the number got printed from the uh, value 1 to 
10 okay so how this is happening how the program is flowing internally how the code is moving from one from the how the control is moving from one location to another location from one method to another method that we are going to see now okay so for this what I have to do is I have to set the breakpoint breakpoint means the program where it needs to stop okay where you want to stop your programming program execution in that position you need to keep a breakpoint as you can see here that uh, you can keep the breakpoint of two types that is by clicking on this lines in pro in this line you if you will click on it it will get a breakpoint that is line breakpoint or else you can keep your breakpoint in the line of your method okay this is method breakpoint if you will click on this line a breakpoint will be created that is method breakpoint okay I am going to show you how the method breakpoint will be you can see it just to click on this wait wait again it got stuck I think okay now you can see here that uh, breakpoint was set here Met this is method breakpoint this is also one method breakpoint and this line this point uh, rectangular box indicating line breakpoint okay so these two breakpoint this kind of breakpoint you can set you can set by just clicking on this line okay this is this line indicates that line of code what line of code you have written it is just indicating so you can just right click on it you will get a breakpoint okay now what we need to do is just uh, right click on your file and click on this debug file menu okay by clicking on this debugging process will get started and uh, the control will stop by coming to this location as you know that java program will get execution will be started from the main method so whenever the program will enter into the main method it will stop executing this program in the first line itself as you have set the breakpoint in this line okay so you can start debugging process by in two different way just by clicking right click and you can do debug file or else one menu icon is here that is this one by clicking on that also you can able to debug that one okay I'm clicking on this uh, debug project okay so that debug process will get started uh, you need to wait for some time that uh, you can see here that in the below line that debugging is going on currently and whenever the control will come to this main method it will stop there automatically where you have kept the breakpoint okay so might be the pro control came to that positions I need to check that one uh, okay now debugging is still going on wait wait okay now you can see here that green line indicate that control came to this line and it stopped here as you have set the breakpoint in this line so control came this location and it stopped executing it so in order to execute in order to allow the control to execute for the statement you need to give the value now so what the what are the options you are having here I need to tell you for while doing the debugging okay so this is the stop button or finish debugging session of button okay by clicking on that button your debugging will get stopped now if you want to continue means uh, if you don't want to see the programming flow and directly if you want to see the output then you just need to click on this continue button so that uh, this debugging process will be continued and the result will be displayed in the output console automatically okay then in this output console you can able to see the complete result or else uh, you can see click on this step over button you can click on step over expression you can this click on step into step out okay these are the four different option you are having but uh, mainly we are going to deal with this step over option so that it will jump line by line okay as you know that uh, in the C programming language we are having one interpreter it is executing line by line likewise it will also work like that it will execute line by line and you can able to identify what is happening in the line and uh, what value it is the line what value the it is holding means the variable is holding you can able to identify okay so let's step over it and you can see the result okay now I'm clicking on this step over okay now you can see here that from that location from that main method directly it came to this loop range method 
here I am calling this loop range method okay so that's why the control came to this loop range method but before that we you need to see here that we have kept one method breakpoint here because of this breakpoint only this control came to this method and it stopped here okay before executing it is allowing it is asking for your permission to continue the execution process for this purpose as you have set the breakpoint here so control came to this location and it stopped so now you need to step over okay now I'm doing again step over step over is completed of this statement and it came to this line here you are just declaring this variable so it is internally executed but it is not displaying okay so now it came to this line and whenever you can check the control output sim output screen is completely blank but whenever you click on again step over this statement got printed on the console you can see here okay see that uh, enter the range for loop this message meth message got printed on the console now the control came to this line that is uh, accepting one integer value okay now it is waiting for your user input okay now you need to give the input suppose I have given 10 and clicked on enter button now you can see that uh, in the variable section int range value is variable is holding one integer value that is 10 it is displaying over here and uh, you can also check by keeping the cursor over it you can able to identify what value that variable is holding now you can see that range variable is holding the value 10 okay here also you can see that uh, range variable is holding the value 10 by the result of call calling this method okay as you know that next int method is used to accept the user input of integer type so by the execution of this method uh, the integer value got uh, accepted by the control and uh, it stored inside this variable range now I'm again doing the step over and it came to the main method again as completion of this loop range method again the control came to this main method and now it's time to execute the loop result method now I'm doing step result as you can see there uh, as of my step over the control came to this line this green line indicates that the statement is ready to execute it is not yet executed it is ready to execute okay so next again I'm doing step over but uh, I'm having one breakpoint in this loop result method also so that control will come to that location it will stop there as you can see here that uh, loop result method is also having one method level breakpoint that's why control came to this method with the parameter number okay whatever the number value we got received by the loop range method with that number it came okay here we given 10 as the parameter so it came with the value 10 with the parameter number okay so on the first line it is waiting for our uh, step for our action okay so I am clicking on step over again it entered into the for loop here what it is doing is i value is holding 1 and i value is less than number 10 number is holding 10 so i value is checked with the number value as you know that uh, 1 is less than 10 so it came to this for loop part and it is executing this statement as you can see here that uh, in the control output sc screen we are not having any statement but uh, after the execution of this statement it will print one message on the console that uh, the number is the number is 1 okay as you can see the number is 1 so now again I am doing step over it is the control came to this line and uh, now I value became 2 okay now again the condition will be checked and uh, the value will be printed see the control the number is 2 similarly again do the step over control came to this for loop and uh, internally i value became 3 okay now again it will check the condition and uh, it will print the con number the number is 3 likewise it will do okay as of now it is printed up to 5 you can see in the console that number 5 is printed but now i want to continue the uh, debugging process means i know i no need to step over 
I don't want to step over now so what I will do is I will simply click on this continue button so that the con execution process will be done completely and uh, I will I can able to see the result in the console but uh, if you want to stop the debugging process you need to click on this finish debugger okay if you want to pause your debugging process then you can click on pause also but as of now I want to continue my debugging process so I am clicking on th this continue button okay so after that you can able to see that finish rebuilding debugging is displaying over here uh, now you can check your output screen okay I am displaying you the output screen here you can see that uh, all the number got printed on the console the number is 10 the number 1 it was started from number 1 and uh, it is ended with the number 10 because we have given as user input 10 that is the uh, range for for loop what we have given S okay so this is all about debugging process hope you got some idea about debugging and uh, I know some problem got happened during that this session because of this programming stuck so please don't bother about it please uh, uh, like my uh, like my channel and uh, subscribe to my channel and keep on sharing with your friends so that i will get motivated more and make more and more videos like this okay thanks for watching take care